Hello YouTube. So today is March 22nd and I know I owe a couple of updates for the house and I'll get those out here shortly. <clears throat> but today's project is something that uh, I have to fix. So it's not a new project, it's repairing an old one. So in 2017, my wife and I, my son, went to Disney World. We go often, so that's not the big part of the story. But while there in camping, we saw a Mickey Mouse lamp. So it was an outdoor lamp on a post, had the Mickey ears. It was really cool. So I came back home and I tried to find one so I could buy it and I couldn't find it. But I found a lot of different instructions out there on the internet to actually make one yourself. So I went out and made one. And I'll walk through kind of the parts that I used to make it. And uh, it was great. Uh, it was kind of a family project. I got some pictures of it that I will uh, kind of post throughout this video to kind of show you what it originally looked like. So we used it in October of 2017 while camping for Halloween. Well, that's when it fell and broke. So uh, the head shattered, uh, one of the ears shattered, and um, it's been broke ever since. I just haven't had a chance to get back and fix it. But today I have all the parts and I think I am ready to get it back right. So um, we're going to go through that build today and kind of show you what I'm using and why. And let's hope it gets back. So hold on. Okay, so here we are back in <clears throat> my shed slash workshop slash garage. And I'll kind of show you what I'm working with. So here is the original Mickey head that I made here. All right, so you see it fell and one of the ears came off, broke the, the head, <clears throat> and uh, this is what I have to try to replace and fix. So let's talk about the parts and pieces that I have here. And what I did, I originally bought uh, a globe. So this is a plastic acrylic um, 12 inch diameter globe and uh, I got it from Lowe's and it's actually a, a globe for a outside lighting post. And I took two LED lights that are actually LED globe lights. So these are actually glass, not acrylic. They're I believe they're three and a half inches. And then I drilled the hole inside the acrylic, mounted the light inside of here, wired the light and the light that went into the post here in the bottom together to work off of a switch. And then I ran the switch down a pole, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. And voila. Well, half the problem is um, I had the pole too tall. So with the pole being as tall as it was, it was top heavy because the glass ears made it uh, top heavy. My center of gravity was too high. So one of the things that I'm exploring now is using PVC pipe. Problem is this piece right here is 2.95 inches in diameter. So I can't find a piece of PVC at Lowe's or Home Depot that actually fits this. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can find out something else to do, or it might be beneficial to cut the pipe or the actual pole down. So let's go through the part list of the things that I used, and then um, we'll talk about what our next... Okay, so let's talk about parts. So let's talk about how I uh, put the head together and the reasons why. The online post that I originally saw back in 2017, and it's still out there today, and I'll, and I'll show you a link to the actual um, post 
that I use, the website that I use to get the original design from. So I'll put it in the uh, description below. So let's talk about the head. So here, I'll put this to the side right now, right there. Here's the head. And so I got this from Lowe's. It's a portfolio outdoor uh, post lantern. It's uh, item number 0398479. Again, I'll try to post that down below. So let's open this up and you'll see what it looks like without the busted piece on it. So the one thing that was beneficial to this was it already comes with the lighting housing. So I didn't have to go through the process of trying to get a lighting housing done because this already had it in there. So that was extremely beneficial. And two, the head is actually the right size for what I was trying to do. And it comes with a flange. So instead of me trying to build all of that out, it already came with it. So I got the head and the lighting kit right here in that. So very cool there. And again, it's acrylic. Now, for the part that was a little bit more challenging were the ears. So what I did with the ears, and this took a little bit more engineering to make happen, but it wasn't that difficult. The ears light up as well. So in the designs that I saw online, they just used a regular uh, halogen light bulb. These are LED lights here, okay? So they're sitting in this metal housing, as you can see there, but that puck comes out. So there's three screws inside of there. You might be able to see that, maybe. Anyway, there's three screws right in here. You take that out. And once you take that out, you can reverse it inside of the actual globe itself. So here is the light. Glass globe. Here. So you reverse this out. Take the housing off. And then the, the actual light itself will just mount inside of the globe without the housing. Take this. Drill the holes in the head, and voila, you have a Mickey head. So, oh, forgot to tell you. This is a Project Source, is the name of the product, Project Source, and it's model number 0780079. I also got this from Lowe's as well. All right. After that, the rest of it is just some uh, wiring that we have to do to get everything put into place. And uh, from there, we mount it to our post. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is measure our hole for our head, uh, for the ears. So on the top of this globe here, you may not be able to see it, but I think on most of these things, there's a center right there. There's a center mark. So from there, we need to go four inches on either side in order to make sure that we um, drill in the right spot. So we need some tape, which I do have, and we'll uh, stretch a piece of tape out, measure the tape, find the center point of the tape, so we know where to put the center here and then four inches on either side of that center mark on the tape. Place that on top of here. And then from there, we'll get our circular drill bit and create our holes. 16 is close enough. All right, so we have a 16 inch piece of tape. We need to measure and mark at 18 inches. I'm sorry, at uh, eight inches. So now, that's our center point. And as it sits, we'll kind of check when I put the drill bit in, I'll go right on the center marker that four inch mark that we have. And that's one ear there. And then the other ear is here.
Mm. Two. All right, next we'll get the drill bit and drill. Okay, so we got our tape on the globe, as you can see here. And now we're gonna drive a couple of pilot holes in to mark where we need to be at. We're gonna make sure we're on the line here. So, go right there. Okay. So, our pilot holes are in place. They are lined up on the center line. And now what we're gonna do to help, hopefully, keep the globe from cracking. All right, then we take our drill bit I'm gonna back the speed down a little bit and then we give it a shot Okay, that was done also. All right, so once you get that done, now the next thing is for us to do a little cleanup. So as you see, we got these little shards on there now. So the easiest way, sometimes they just peel off or you can take a little. So there's our 
head. Take our tape off now. Just holding it together. And I'll show you what it should look like with the ear on it. And those are exactly four inches from the center. So, fits directly in there. And then we will glue that in there in place. Put some zip ties around it to let it sit. You have to do one ear at a time. Okay, but we have to build the ear first. So that's our next thing. Okay. So let's go to this. So the light itself has the grounding wire in it. So we'll remove that, which is holding the light in. Grounding wire. The only thing we gotta do is get this to come off. little nudge and it's off it just has some glue on it see there's some glue on it that's what's holding it and then what we'll do Now this is what I don't remember what I did. So here is the old one. Ah. All right. So we drop the light inside of here and then we ran a bolt down the middle. All right. So what we'll do, we'll use the old one. Okay. So. Put the light in there. And now all we gotta do is take this bolt off. This little screw and a, and a nut is what I used to hold it in place. Run that screw down the center here. Then put our washer back on it. Let's see. There we go.
All right, so what we did was we took the light and took it out of its housing, which is this um, little white thing right here. So that's the metal housing that the light actually sits in. There's three screws in it and then the grounding screw that's in the back of it. You take those off, take a piece of, uh, take a flathead screwdriver and just give it a little nudge. It separates it, it's held together by just some tacky glue. Uh, once you do that, you take the plastic piece that the light actually mounts in, it actually mounts inside of the globe, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now, without the metal housing, you have this piece here that actually sits on top of there and screws into the light. Okay, so now you have this piece uh, that fits inside of the globe without this uh, wall mount or ceiling mount that normally would this would go on. So now you have your Mickey ear and this fits directly into here. So now you see, that's how it's gonna end up looking. Because your three and a half inch hole did that. So the next thing we gotta do is uh, ground it back. So we'll do that simply by um, taking the grounding screw here and putting it on the uh, washer that over the, the bolt that we put on there and then grounding it back. That should fit. Once we do that, then that ear will be done and we'll go ahead and start epoxying it as well. Actually, we'll run the wires to it first once we do the wires to it then we'll come back and um, get it mounted and glued once I put the Loctite on it it takes a little bit for it to to secure and you can only do one at a time because of the way that you have to use the bungee cords or however you get to uh, to mount it or to hold it in place I might be able to use a clip this time I'm not sure we'll figure out how to get it on there together all right, so let me go ahead and put the grounding screw in here and then we'll be back. All right, so here we are. Our light is back the way it's supposed to be. And now all we gotta do is run our primary wires that we're gonna run back to the switch uh, from here. So we need to prep that before we actually get it mounted on the head. So all I'm gonna do simply here is take, um, here is some green wire and I don't have any black. For the purposes of this, let's ground it green on green. So we'll ground it green on green. We'll keep our white consistent. Okay, so now it's time to get the glue on there and put the ear on. First, I gotta find a piece of bungee, or at least some way to be able to hold the ear in place while the glue, the glue dries. So this might work here. So I got a bungee cord that works. The next thing is make sure my surface is good and clean, which they are. Then I'm just using some regular old Loctite clear silicone waterproof sealant. And I'll be liberal with what I put on there because I don't want the ear falling off. So the purpose of must 
Green Oak Hawk Grease Dot Adhesive Application Applied to a Continuous Even bay Bead of Silicone at One Surface Assemble Parts Immediately. So we'll poke our hole in our top. And I'm going to go around the base. There's a little bit of a lip around the base of the ear. And that's where I'm going to go. Um... To put it. I had to find some scissors. Alright. So let's put a bead and you'll see there's a little bit of a lip right there. That's where I'm going with it. Careful in how you put it on there. Alright. So adhesive is on there. So now it's a matter of putting it on. All right, and there you go. One ear on, and I, what I did, I ran it to the other ear, and then to the bottom. And now I'm gonna let this sit and dry. So what we'll do, we will mount it, and lean it up against something to kind of hold it in place. Here we go, all right. So let's talk about what we did so far. <clears throat> um, we got the acrylic head, which is a it's a uh, it's a 10 inch. I said 12 earlier. It's a 10 inch uh, diameter acrylic head. I got it from Home Depot uh, from Lowe's, and it comes with a mounting flange. Uh, next, we had to put holes in the top of him for the ears, and the ears are spaced four inches from the center. So then you center your, you, you uh, take a piece of painter's tape, mark four inches from the center of the piece of strip that you have, and then let that run uh, on the top of the head, and then uh, drill a pilot hole at the mark, come back with the circular three and a half inch drill bit, and punch a hole in both sides. Now this is a tricky part because you don't want to put a lot of pressure, downward pressure on the drill when you're doing it. Kind of let the drill spin in the, in the uh, or let the head or the, the bit spin until it's um, uh, uh, made a pretty good uh, hole in it. And then just kind of give it a little bit more pressure and do the next layer. Don't be in a rush or you'll crack that acrylic globe I've done it. So <clears throat> next after that, we took our light, which is our LED light kit from Lowe's, <clears throat> removed the metal base from it, disassembled it, and then reassembled it back inside of the plastic housing that will sit inside of the light um, as it's mounted. So that's it. So far, uh, we're at that stage. The next thing we'll do is put the next ear together while that one is drying and then I got to take a trip to Lowe's because there's some things I need to buy for the next project which we'll talk about here shortly. All right I'm gonna put the other ear together and I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay <clears throat> so it's the next day. Um, I got some stuff done and I wanted to bring everyone up to speed about what we were able to accomplish uh, yesterday. So let's talk about uh, how we got the, where we are in the project of the Mickey ears. So one of the problems that I was having, I told you in the very beginning, was the pole that I was using was pretty heavy. So in using that pole, uh, it makes it uh, top heavy, center of gravity is a little bit too high, so it was hard to balance it inside of the, uh, the pot that I was using for it. So, I wanted to use PVC pipe, but the housing that I had for the flange for the neck uh, wouldn't fit in PVC pipe. It was just an odd number or odd uh, size. So, yesterday, I was able to go back to home uh, Lowe's and uh, let me show you the housing here. So, here is the flange for the housing. And this comes in that uh, globe piece that I originally showed you for the head. So it's the, uh, the, the 12 inch 
how the 12 inch head piece that comes in the box it has the lighting um housing already in it <clears throat> and then the flange at the neck sits inside well this piece right here was hard to find a piece of pvc pipe the bottom piece of it it's hard to find a piece of pvc pipe that actually worked so what i did yesterday i went to home depot i'm sorry lowe's keep saying home depot i went to lowe's yesterday and this right here is a piece of uh, pvc pipe it is a uh, four inch to three inch reducer. So the top part is a four inch reducer. I'm sorry a four inch uh, Pipe and this is a three inch uh, on the back end of it So when I saw this I thought maybe this would work. So what I did was I took the flange Here there's three screws inside of it as you can see right there three screws and I unscrewed them and this top piece comes off so it looks like this so this is all that that's around that housing which leaves nothing more but this bottom piece here all right so you take that and it fits perfectly inside of here and all i did was use some uh uh, uh loctite glue put it inside of there and i have now my housing so i still have the uh the piece that i needed and I was able to put it together. So I, put, I let it sit overnight and I got both ears mounted. I have done a quick test to make sure that all my electrical is working properly and I will show you that now. Make sure I don't drop my head, hold on a minute. All right, well, that was the light coming on. So let me show you the light. All right. So I have not, of course, as you saw, I still have the head piece out, but those are the two ears as they light up. So I got the electrical inside of there. I just need to finalize. Um, I need to finalize those. And once I get those pieces done, then I'll be able to reassemble it. <clears throat> oh, in addition, sorry, I forgot one thing. That's important. So I went to... Lowe's also when I was there and I bought a piece of PVC pipe so this is PVC pipe I spray painted it black just like I did that reducer that you see there and I punched a hole in the top of it here for the switch and then I put a hole in the bottom down here for the wire and I'm going to do a couple different things that are going to change a little bit on this particular build than from the last time that I did. Uh, and I'll walk through that as well. So for now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and finalize the wire inside of the head um, and get the uh, base for the um, head in there, this piece right here, get that installed and wired up as well. And then I will glue the head down inside of this housing. So when I come back, we should see that piece done. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so now what I've done is I've gotten the wiring done on the inside and I've got the base done. So let's see if this is gonna work. Here she blows. Only thing is that bulb in the, you can't really see it on film, on the camera, but the bulb inside of the head is not as bright as the ears. So I don't know if it's the globe or the bulb. Let me see if I can find another bulb for it. But there you go. So that's how it looks when it is fully out. So now the next step I'm gonna do is glue the head down and then I'll start working on the switch for the uh, post. Okay, so we got the um, head down on the uh, piece of PVC pipe. Of the reducer so now it's just a matter of it drying so i'll let that dry overnight <clears throat> the next thing i'm going to do is the switch so here is the switch it's a basic little 
to a toggle switch on and off is all it is two wires to come out of the end of it doesn't matter which you hook up black or white to either one of these it does the same thing it has a little uh, face plate on it that you can uh, choose uh, to uh, go whatever side it is on or off so we're going to mount that inside of our pvc pipe and then get the wires ready for the power cord to come up through it so that's next okay yeah so we're almost done with the um with the mickey mouse head uh, my camera almost fell we're almost done with the mickey mouse head uh i'm gonna go ahead and get a part list together but so far we are at the stage of doing the final wire connection so the only thing that's left now is i gotta connect the power supply to the switch and then the lights to the switch and then mount the head to the pole so i'm running low on my battery so i hope this doesn't die before too long so let's take a look at what we're doing now so i got the last piece here and what i've done is i painted the coupling uh, and i'm not very good at using uh spray paint it runs on me i i think i'm either holding it too close or something this is not right but anyway as you can see uh, we got the coupling on to the uh, to the uh, mount and then what's left here is the pipe that we have spray painted the white one and it goes down into the base so it is done and ready now so that's the last thing that's that's left once that dries i'm gonna go ahead now and start hooking the wire up to the switch and then once the switch is wired up i'll come out of the switch and into the head so we should be good to go so uh just hold on and we'll see the final product here in a minute thanks okay so we uh we were at the end of this project and i had a little bit of a issue with the wiring i think my switch is bad um, it kept popping a fuse. I, it's grounded and everything, but I, it just kept popping the uh, kept popping a fuse. So I don't really know what the problem is there. So what I did, I take the switch out of the out of the path and I uh, wired it directly to to the plug. So now I don't have a switch. I can come back and fix that later. Uh, but let's look at the final product. So there we have it. We have oh bad. Let me go outside. All right, there we are you can't tell that it's on but it is um, and it is mounted in its stand so you have a uh, fully working Mickey Mouse head lamp and if you look at it closely you can tell that's nothing more but a milk jug that we painted the Mickey Mouse uh, colors the Disney colors the red yellow and the black I actually went online and found uh, what actual colors those were and so I was able to match that with some spray paint and then uh, the PVC pipe is a three inch five foot uh, PVC pipe that comes up to the top to a coupling a three inch coupling that sits inside of a four inch to three inch reducer and the 12 inch acrylic head sits inside of that with a lighting housing and then the ears are two four inch um, LED ceiling mounted lights they're all wired together and then come through the tube out through a a power cord that we created in order to give it power so that's it I'll make sure that I put the parts lists on the um, on the description below I'll put the part list on the description below uh, that way you can do it if you got a better way to do it or if you decide to do this bill and you realize that hey it was easier to do XYZ by all means leave the comments in below let me know what you did differently so if I ever do this again I know the better way 
And for those who may be looking to do it, you can put the comment center so they can see it as well. I will point out one thing that I don't like, and it was the same way the last time when I built it. If you notice here, that light is so bright that the, the cables can be seen inside the head. Uh, that is one thing. I, I gotta figure out how I can fix that. I don't quite know how yet, but I know there's a way. Uh, probably if I tie them all together, I'm thinking if I tie them all together and um, uh, put them in one area down at the bottom of the globe, I'll probably get rid of that. I didn't think about that before I, I glued it on there, so it's going to have to be what it is now. So anyway, next time, just let me know if uh, in the comments below. Thanks.